Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than landing rickets without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kinda look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Well, ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. Well, oh, this is about you. Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Oh. Really do not like you. Shit. I got 
Be suffering from exposure. Suffer a little longer. Oh, oh, I seem to keep blacking out. Oh. Eh. You do seem to keep blacking out. isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. <sighs> More in that? Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Please, remember what I told you. Reverend, where are you? Swanson, you in here? Come on. What's the hold up? Play your damn hand. Play it. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. 
I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. Oh. Uh, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I got to get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Have you lost your mind? Reverend, stop! Reverend! Mr. Morgan, hey. a hand here, oh, please. Hey, hey. Did you just say get your me? hands I off him. A word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Let's make this. Uh, I'll kill uh, you both. Uh. You're going down! A pair of damn fools! Waste of my time. Oh my god, you killed him! I'm gonna keep the law on you! Hey you! Get back here! Understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. On second thoughts, you can give me all your money too. Okay. Here, just take it. Just just please let me go. Good. Get the hell out of here. Reverend, get off the damn tracks. Reverend, over here. What are you doing? Come on, my friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. Done with your foot! It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> 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 
Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 oh no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. One for the road. Yeah. I told him. Don't mind if I do. I was wondering when he'd show up. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll... Keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. What's your problem? I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, 
Regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, Are you about pal? to kiss that guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer! <laughs> Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? 
Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Come here. Hey, boy. If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Nasty individual. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Yes, and what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. We got enough crap around here from the livestock. Sold a lot of papers today. So, uh, hey, stop right where you are. You must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Just walk away. You nosy idiot. Good plan, fellas.
Just? You robbed and murdered your way across half the country. It's all lies. I ain't never been more than five miles from home. You keep lying. You gonna make me angry, boy. There's a bounty hunter. Get him! L.A.N., I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the feller. What Ow. kind of man are you? You... Honey, that's that... You are a piece of work. Now, come here. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. All you men are useless. This is, uh, very kind of you. Handle me. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. <laughs> oh dear. What came over me? Did I did I just do those things? It's a a horrible blur, but I see blood. Be quiet with that. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness, a fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad. This the help you're looking for? You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My man. I ain't falling for it. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. I That's more like it. Hush.
welcome. We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. That was good. Morning. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another fella out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean... Easy. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Just... <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. <sighs> We got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. 
I hope so. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCord. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Not a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. They've pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Let's get in the river. 
Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. you got there, eh? Mm. Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! Who the hell are they? Get up there! The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Take them down. Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we can do it ourselves. Still time.
Let's get Sean. Quick, Arthur, before any more show up. Well, one of you help me out here. Arthur. <laughs> You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share is the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. <laughs> 